This video is to help you uh, understand how to take a OneNote and assign it on My Big Campus, and uh, also how a student will uh, take a OneNote on My Big Campus and put it into their OneNote. Um, as you can see, uh, I have my chapters to my classes across here, and over on this side is um, new sections or new pages that can be uh, added in. I have created a study guide um, in OneNote that I would like them to complete. Uh, so what I would do is once it is uh, ready to go is I would come up to File and I'm going to save this save as uh, and this is going to be as a page this is a all of these are a page and of course this second nine week study guide is a single page so when I hit file save as I want it as a page now you can save this OneNote as a OneNote document and and it will go straight into the OneNote or if you were to uh, want to put it into a Word document that um, you didn't care if it was in OneNote, if you if you just did it in OneNote and wanted to give them as a Word document, you would save it as a Word document. Or uh, you could go down and make it a PDF. Um, those are all uh, options. Uh, we're going to take this page and we're going to make it a OneNote uh, section and then you're going to hit save. Uh, it's going to ask you to save it somewhere. I, I always try to save it in the same place so I know where it's at. Um, second um, nine weeks study guide, I would save this here. And now I have it on my computer. Uh, if I then bring up my My Big Campus, uh, I'm going to put this in I'm going to assign this to, just for uh, this purpose, my read and feed class. Um, I usually put it under my resources. You can put new file, and then you're going to upload it. I have to now go back and find where I saved it. So here is my second nine week study guide. So when I click on this, it's going to upload it onto here. It's now there. I then just have to hit share attached item. So now this item is on the My Big Campus uh, for read and feed. All they have to go to is, is to the resource page. Um, as a student, uh, when they go into this page, they are going to see a uh, second nine week study guide. And so if I were wanting to download this into uh, my OneNote, um, I would click on it and it's going to ask if you, you want to hit open. This is going to open up, even if you don't have your OneNote open at the time, it will open up your OneNote uh, notebook. Um, you're going to open it, and if you give it a second, it will come up. Now, um, the danger in this is most kids have to be taught this, that if it is the only thing on this side, um, this is really kind of like a read-only. Uh, they need to put it into one of their folders. So in order to do that, you have to right-click. And again, this is so that uh, a lot of times kids will download something, type something in, and then the next time they open it up, it's gone. Uh, that's because this has not been saved in or put into their OneNote technically yet. This is just a regular page. So you have to right click here and you're going to come down to move or copy. When you click on this it's going to give you an option of where do you want to move it to. So if I want to put it in my teacher stuff um, into my to do. So this is where I want this to be in. I hit copy. 
Now, if I come over here to Mr. Wolfgang's to-do list, you can look right down here, and here is, and it will be there. They can type in it. Um, they can add things to it, and it will not go away. Uh, it is there for good. Uh, so you want to save it, uh, save as, put it on there, and then when they come, when they bring it back, make sure that you uh, right-click and put it into one of your notebooks because uh, if you do not put it into one of the notebooks, it will not stay there permanently.